America's shield against a regular pizza? Coffee in a Batman cape against a delicious cappuccino? And a black burger for Black Widow against a plain cheeseburger? Watch the battle of superhero food versus regular food only in our new video! Superman finally has a day off! He also loves eating junk food when he's not busy saving the world! Too bad he only has a little can of chips left! This is not enough! But his neighbor Hulk has some super chips! Let's get this treat! For one chip, we will need three and a half ounces of mashed potato. Put in one egg yolk, add a drop of green food coloring and mix it thoroughly. Put in three and a half ounces of flour and make the dough. Roll it out on parchment paper to make a thin layer. Sprinkle it with flour constantly so that it doesn't stick. Cut out the biggest circle you can. Bake it in an oven for 10 minutes at 280 degrees Fahrenheit. Cover the big chip with vegetable oil when it's ready. Blot it with a napkin and sprinkle it with salt. Make a few chips like this. Cover a round food container with green pepper. Attach a Hulk chips label on top. And attach a superhero logo to the lid. Put the chips into the container. Now that's what we call superhero chips for a green giant. Whoops! Superman, do not eat too many chips or you will turn green and become Super Hulk! These superhero chips give Superman an idea. What if we arrange a superhero versus regular food battle? But we need someone to judge us. I wonder what Black Widow is busy doing today. Is she baking cookies? Ha! Of course not! She's on the mission cleaning the city from bad guys. How about having dinner with Superman? Black Widow isn't against that idea. She always works up a good appetite after a great fight. Then we will meet in Comic Con Restaurant. Black Widow is waiting for Superman, but some geek in glasses shows up instead. This is our Superman, but he looks like reporter Clark Kent. His red superhero cape is at the dry cleaners. Black Widow is not used to such a quick entrance. Clark does it at once. Give us your two most delicious pizzas, please. The dishes are served super fast. Clark gets a regular pizza, and Black Widow gets Captain America's pizza. Cover a ready pizza crust with olive oil. Cut a circle and a star from slices of cheese. Color the circle in water with blue food coloring. Place the logo with the star in the center of the crust. Put halves of salami slices around it. Then slice mozzarella and put it on the pizza. Decorate the edge with slices of tomatoes. Bake the pizza for 15 minutes at 280 degrees Fahrenheit. This shield pizza looks like a million bucks. But there is one thing. They forgot to cut it into slices. Thankfully, Superman's smoldering stare can save the day. He uses his laser vision to cut the pizza. But this tool has one flaw. The pizza is cut into strips. Well, we should have asked Wolverine to cut the pizza into slices. What could this geek possibly do right? Despite the creative look of the superhero shield, the regular pizza cut into slices opens the scoring at 1 to 0. Black Widow is not full yet, so she chooses a special burger from the menu. Superman orders the same. He wants to keep up with his calories. Cut a black burger bun. Cover a chicken patty with eel sauce. Put red leaf lettuce onto the bun. Pour some sauce on it. Put the patty on top. Then put a slice of black cheese on it. Cover it with the other half of the bun and fasten it using a skewer with Black Widow's logo. Black Widow gets her black burger. And what about Clark? He gets a regular boring cheeseburger. It's obvious at once whose burger is an awesome superhero. Clark's regular burger loses in comparison to this black superhero. The dark bun with a goth patty has all the superpowers. And the only thing Clark can do is to super drool over it. Superhero food wins this round. It's a tie at one to one. 
Black Widow has a sweet present for her friend. She brings some Superman candies instead of regular ones. Put red and blue gummy candies into a jar. Cut a red cape out of felt. Cover the lid of the jar with a felt strip. And attach the cape with double-sided tape. Print out a Superman logo and attach it to the jar. Regular jelly candies are sweet, of course, but Clark is thrilled with these superhero candies. He thinks they have superpowers of their own, and they are capable of making his biceps bigger and his self-esteem higher. Stupid man! These candies are just regular candies in a special package. They don't have any superpowers. But Clark thinks otherwise. How else would you explain his new kung fu skills? Super candies win! The score is 2 to 1. Black Widow can't make up her mind about what dessert she wants. Cakes are way too soft and boring. Then, Superman quickly brings her a suitable dessert. These are brutally hard cookies. And Clark made some superhero cookies for himself. Add 2 ounces of honey to 3 ounces of sugar. Put in cinnamon, vanilla sugar, and half a teaspoon of baking soda. Add one egg. Mix it and melt it in a microwave. Put in two ounces of soft butter to the melted mixture. Add nine ounces of flour and make the dough. Sprinkle the table with flour and roll out the dough. Cut out cookies that are shaped like superhero logos. Bake them for half an hour at 360 degrees Fahrenheit. Whip four egg whites for icing. Keep whipping and put in half a teaspoon of citric acid and 14 ounces of powdered sugar. Add food colorings to the icing and put it into Ziploc bags. Paint a superhero logo on every cookie with the icing. Superman, Batman, Flash, Deadpool, and an explosion. Also, paint a comic bubble that says, look. Put the cookies into clear bags and tie them with ribbons. Clark quickly finds his own cookie. Here it is, a round Superman. And Black Widow's cookies are too boring. She also wants to find her friends among these super cookies. Here comes Batman. Superman and Batman are old enemies because Batman is his biggest competitor. Superman gets mad at the cookies and at his friend. Superhero cookies win in this round. The score is 3 to 1. Black Widow ordered a cup of coffee. Superman also wants a boost, but the waiter decides to prank him and serves him coffee in the costume of his biggest rival, Batman. Cut pieces of Batman's suit out of black felt a cape, and a strip with ears. Attach the details to a latte cup. Use hot glue. Pour whipped milk into the cup and a serving of coffee. Put a stencil of Batman's logo onto the cup. Sprinkle it with cocoa powder. Superman is allergic to Batman. He can't even look at his coffee reminder of his competitor. The cup with the webbed cape makes him mad. So he fixes the problem. He quickly burns the cup with his eyes. That's what this bat deserves for sticking his nose everywhere. Superman is really mad. Even a simple cup of coffee won't calm him down. Superhero food loses in this round. Regular coffee is definitely the winner. The score is 3 to 2. In the end, the guests get a dish on the house. It's Wonder Woman's smoothie bowl. Cut a Wonder Woman logo out of a pumpkin. Make details with a knife. Cut out stars tracing the template. Cover them with gold edible pearl powder. And sprinkle with food glitter. Mix bananas, raspberries, and Greek yogurt in a blender. Pour the smoothie into a bowl. Decorate it with the logo and the stars. 
Black Widow and Superman want to try the smoothie. But this mushy liquid consistency is not a good match for the strong characters of superheroes. They are way too cool for this soft smoothie. There aren't any winners in this round. It clearly doesn't matter if the smoothie bowl is superhero or regular. Huh. Superheroes don't like them at all. The score is 3 to 2. The battle is over and superhero food is the winner. Did you like our regular versus superhero food battle? Then write in the comments which dish from the superhero menu you would cook for yourself. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so that you don't miss new superhero ideas on Troom Troom.